This is my new book, Love Triangle. I am very proud. This is years of work in one physical object. And in a moment, if you've come here from the Siddler Shape video, I'm going to explain the prints and the cover and everything with this. But first, I just want to say a couple of words about first editions and pre-orders. So I, so, so the first edition of a book is like the first print run, the first lot that come off. And I need to decide ahead of time how many first edition copies I want reserved for you fine people to guarantee a first edition. Because if you go and buy this from like uh, Waterstones or Amazon or uh, other bookshops, you're gonna get a copy, but you don't know if it'll be a first edition or not. So I had to, I've committed to 10,000 copies, which is too many copies. But it guarantees they're gonna be proper first editions. It sadly means they're gonna have mistakes in them. We've already found and fixed mistakes. So uh, there's a point here. So I put in a puzzle about a coin rolling. It's in the second chapter, here we go. And I did this before Veritasium did, I got derricked. My own book got derricked. I put this puzzle in my book and then Derek did a wildly successful YouTube video about the same thing. Because before that, nice little obscure puzzle. After that, oh, you're copying Veritasium. And in the original version of the puzzle, I'd used a um, image of a, a two pound coin from the UK, which has the queen's head on it. Um, she was alive when I started writing the book. And in the content, like the writing I've done around it, I originally wrote it assuming it would be the queen on a two pound coin. The reason the word dizzy is used is that originally I had a pun based on Lizzie, Queen, queen Lizzie being dizzy. But then when we couldn't get the rights, the mint, we could, then we realized we couldn't get the rights to the image of the coin. So I was like, oh, this is like late in the game when we're putting the book together. Like we're getting the final image clearances off and it turns out we can't get the coin rights. So we had to um, get a fantastic, my illustrator, Jenny Ballas, then did a fake coin, made up a coin with my face on it. My mate, John Harvey, who is my, uh, Latin and other classics consultant came up with a hilarious Latin slogan to put around the coin. And then we changed the text at the absolute last second, except in here somewhere, where is it? I missed a pronoun. So I refer to back to the person on the coin as a she, because it was uh, Queen Elizabeth originally, but now it's me. So, I mean, of all the people in the book, I could have misgendered, I'm, I'm the best case scenario because I can uh, heartfelt apologize to myself and I believe me. So there are some images in there that were meant to be replaced. There's two, you know what, little challenge. If you get a first edition, there are two images in there that should have been swapped out for final versions. They weren't swapped out, but they will be swapped out in, in later ones. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is the first edition is a pretty, pretty special thing. Now. Uh, the way the book works, this is a hardcover. You, um, you basically, there's the book. There's your, there's your actual object. And then you get one of these. This is the dust jacket that then goes around that. And you will still get this. If you pre-order from me, you still get this. But I thought, wouldn't it be fun if instead of just having like the standard cover, this one, I do limited edition covers you only get if you pre-order through me. So what'll happen is you'll get a first edition that I've signed. It'll look like this. You will also get an additional dust jacket. And for that, I wanted to go like very, very maths and very art at the same time on the cover. And that's where the Siddler shape comes in. So I got the print artist, Paul Catherall, and I've still got them here because we just finished filming the video about these. I will link to the full video below if you want to check it out. They did this fantastic print and they've done it in three different colors. And the first 1,001 people to pre-order will get the yellow version, the uh, simplex edition. The next 2,024 will get the tetrahedron edition, that's red. And that's because 1,001 is a simplex number. It's the four dimensional equivalent of a triangle number. 2,024, the year I'm currently in is a tetrahedral number. And so that's the tetrahedron edition. I just thought it was funny to change the editions based on the numbers anyway. 
And then there's going to be 5,995 triangle additions, because that's a triangle number, and it's palindromic, and I thought that was very funny. Um, the first two are already spoken for. I checked this morning, and we've had just over 3,700 orders. So that means all the simplex ones, all the tetrahedron ones are gone, but we still have the triangle additions to hand out. I haven't got any printed yet because these literally arrived a couple of days ago before I'm filming. I'll put, I'll put the mock up on screen. There you are. It's going to look like that, but a little better because we're actually going to, uh, there's going to be like metallic foiling on there. And oh, so, uh, my mate Simon Wright has done the, the full design based on the scans of Paul Catherall's prints. And once they're gone, they're gone. They will be individually hand numbered by me because I'm a dingus who commits to writing too many numbers. And if you can hear counterperson Alex audibly laughing. If anyone knows I'm a dingus, Alex, it's you. This you're not coming as a surprise. Uh, that wouldn't it be fun if I numbered all 5,995 triangle editions? And it looks like you're going to order them all. So I will be sat there. So I will number and initial every single limited edition dust jacket. And I will sign every first edition book that goes through mass gear. .co.uk uh, link below. And when you pre-order, you enter in all your information and your, de your payment details. And we don't charge you until the week it comes out because we're also slightly, gaming is a strong word, but the bestseller charts take all the sales in week buckets, like week sized uh, ranges of time. They lump them all together. So all the sales within one week count towards the one listing in the bestseller chart. And so by taking pre-orders gradually over a long period of time, and then putting the payments through all on the same week, they all count towards the same bestseller chart. And we have, the, imagine if we could get a book about geometry and trigonometry into the bestseller charts. Now, Humble Pie was the number one bestseller, but that was a fun book about mass mistakes and humans and blah, blah, blah. This is just geometry and trigonometry. Imagine a bestseller trig book. I'm so excited. It sounds like such a boring topic. Some of the early reviews are quite funny. The, I forget the wording. Um, was, a review is like that I take uh, s s sometimes tedious topics and make them, make them fun. So thanks a lot. But I think that would be hilarious if we could do that. So that's why I push pre-orders so much. Uh, partly because the publicity that Penguin Random House put behind the book, they use the number of pre-orders as a metric to work out how much more to promote the book. And pre-orders are used as an argument for like getting reviews and features and other stuff. So kind of success begets success in that regard. And so it's a proof that people want the book, which then means they promote it to more people hoping they will also want the book. And it means we can not gain, but something very similar to the bestseller list. We can be efficient with the bestseller list. So I appreciate you doing all those things. Um, the uh, last two things to say, and these are at either ends of the spectrum, way at one end of the spectrum, if this is too expensive because, oh, I convinced them to make it a triangle number of pennies. They're like, we want to make this like $24.99. And I'm like, if you make it $24.85, 2485 is a triangle number. And they agreed. So they are saving you money. You're welcome. Uh, but I have to sell them at full price because this all everything else is expensive. Uh, if you go onto some places like Amazon and Waterstones, we have a 21% off discount code on Waterstones if you want to order from there. They offered me 20%. I said 21 is a triangle number. So we got a 21% discount code. Uh, link to that below. There are cheaper ways to get it. You can wait until the paperback's out. You can, you know, uh, audio the, get the audio book or the ebook or something else. There are cheap, if you just want to read it, there are cheaper ways to read it. If you want to own a ridiculous object, now is the time to strike. Get the ridiculous first edition with a dust jacket. But if you can't afford that, that's absolutely fine. It, it, any way you pre order it benefits the book. So uh, don't feel, you know, uh, parasocialed into pre-ordering it through me, even though I think we know each other better than that. Um, but I mean, you can order it anyway. Now, the other end of the spectrum, which I have to acknowledge. There are 168 prime numbers that are below 1001, which made me realize that there are 168 prime 
versions of the covers where you could get all three covers with the same number and they're all prime. So I'm gonna pull those 168 prime number ones out and keep them together. So the simplex, the tetrahedron, and the triangle one. If you want, you can pre-order the box set, which will be three copies of the same book, but one of each of the three covers, and they'll all have matching serial numbers that I've written on the back, and they will all be prime. It'll be one of the primes. That is gonna cost a lot more money. Um, and that's the only way to get the, the simplex and tetrahedron ones now, because the pre-orders, um, or the ones that were I'm sending individually have all been pre-ordered. If you want the overly expensive box set for 168 pounds, which is too much money, don't order it. That is available and it'll come in a box and that's like, if you wanna support the channel, that's what you do. So th th there's your spectrum. That's too much, don't do that. Uh, or you can pre-order it from me, just normally, like a regular human, because we're good friends. Uh, that's great. Or wait and get the cheaper one um, later on. So there you are, that's, that's an insight into first editions, pre-orders and the emotional roller coaster of being an author. Please, please order the book. I really appreciate it. Thanks.